Shimi man. Understand God. Man, I trust Shimi. Your precious blood on Golgotha at Calvary. We remember that we shall never forget about it. Because it is valuable upon our lives. He redeemed us. We were redeemed by your blood, King. That is why we remember the works you did on Calvary. I pray for your word. Let this word be of power. For you. Let your word heal the hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus, our King. Let your word change. Let your word uh, make things. Let your word bring out the war. Let your word work. Just because your word says it is a medicine, it is a drug. The heals all kinds of diseases. Thank you, King of Kings. We pray for the thanksgiving, the tithe and the offerings, the offerings. Place everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Double them seven times. Just as your word says, we should come to your house empty that we should come with the thanksgiving and the offerings and the tithes just as your servant James said that if you protect me throughout the journey and I come to my homeland peacefully I shall not miss one of the offerings and the tithes and us to be protected from different things not because we had something more than the other not because of our wisdom not because of our beauty not because of our power but because of your grace and mercy you also brought all those for you to receive them thank you Jesus May the glory be yours in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you have your seats. God bless you. I just want to see your neighbor. Don't touch them. Just Jesus. I brought a word that we're going to read in Psalms 100. 
ari hayo mutwe ijambo kandi uri muri iryo jambo uvuga ngo ni utubabarira ni utubabarira ibyo twakiraniwe byose the theme is he is the one who forgives all our iniquities yumunsi itariki 11 today on the 11th turi mu cyumweru cyo kwibuka mu gihugu cyacu we are in the week of remembering in our nation kwibuka Genocide ya Korea Batutsi mu Remembering the genocide against the Tutsi in 1994. Bona hano kugira ngo mpumurize abantu bose. I just want to comfort everyone. Bagize ibyago muri genocide ya Korea Batutsi. Those who met troubles throughout the ubuzima bukomeye bw'urugendo bacye mu rukomeye. Genocide against the Tutsi and the hardship of life you made throughout the journey. Be strong and be renewed again. Just because we have King Jesus. This word says that He is the one who forgives all our iniquities. It's Psalms 103. Let us read. Agachizi ngwara zawe zos. Agachungu rubuji ngobu gawe. Ngobu tajia murigu wa gobo. Aka kwambika imbabazi. No kujiri waneza nki ikamba. Aga haza obusaza bugawe ibjiza. Aga tumusubira mbusore busha. Bumeze. Ngubi chizu imani hawa gichi wa hiro. Ah, irini jambo. It is a word read in Psalms 103 verse 3. I still want to speak of this word that he is who heals all diseases. I'll connect it with another word in Jeremiah 17 from verse 9 to 10. Let us read. Harabango Murongo is chained up with a quick chum, Yeremia, which Shuminabidin Murongoaho, which chained up with a quick chum. Jeremiah seventeen from verse nine. Harabango Umutima Munu Urushin who be yours, the Gushukana. The heart is deceitful above all things. Kind of it in Guara, who is there, who is and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart and taste the mind. Even to give to every man according to his ways. According, According to the fruit of his doings. Praise God. He forgives all our iniquities and heals all our diseases. A human being has a lot of disease in them. We have a lot of disease. That is what the word of God says in Jeremiah. That the heart of a person is deceitful. And it is desperately wicked. But verse 10 it says of a great word that there is no any other person who can search such hearts apart from the creator of the heart. Apart from the build of that heart. And it has no hope that it shall be healed. But I want to tell you today, just as the word said in Psalm 103, verse 3, that He forgives all our iniquities and heals all our diseases. 
healed. It means even though that heart has no hope of being healed. But there is the creator of that heart. He has the authority. He has power. Of healing such hearts. At, at this moment, at this season. Where the world has gone through. Specifically that you remember the genocide against the Tutsi in the 1994. People have a lot of disease in them. People have disease of different kinds. People have disease of different uh, kinds. Some have disease of sorrow. Others have disease of fear. That they can't see their future. But the word has told me there is the creator of such hearts. There is someone who knows a human being. There is someone who knows you more than you know yourself. And he's the one who has authority, as the Psalms told us. That he heals all. Or diseases. He redeems us for so we cannot go in that pit. Mostly when a person is sick, there is no more hope. The hope is down. But when you're sick, sometimes you hear a lot of voices. And those voices that you hear, they are the ones discouraging you, telling you that it is impossible. The voice telling you that you shall not be healed. Because what the devil does in, in the person of such heart, it is to take you the hope in you. But the word told me in Jeremiah 17, 7, that bless is the one who has hope in God. And that is his only hope. Because they shall be compared like a tree planted near the river. He shall never fear the drought. When the drought comes, when does the drought come? It comes when you've gone through such situations as ours. When does the drought come? It comes at a time when you're alone. When you see no one consoling you. But praise God, we have King Jesus. We have the King of Kings. We have a great mighty king who, who consoles us in the absence of people. Tells us you are not alone. Tells you I am with you. That is why we have such hope. And such hope do not put to shame. Such hope is great. Praise God. Friends, brethren, people, we have a lot of disease. It is what the word says. This is a load. I'm speaking of, I speak of disease in three kinds. Uh, there is a heart disease, just as the word says. There is a physical disease, flesh disease, and there's a spiritual disease. Such disease, they come together, they make up, or they combine to make up a human being. When you have all those diseases, there is what doctors try but there is what they cannot make or heal they'll be like also don't have a nurse of such diseases but today I tell you Psalms 103 verse 3 that he forgives all our iniquities and heals all our diseases it means he heals the heart disease he heals the flesh disease and he heals the spiritual disease 
things. Uh, he can do all those. And I'll connect it with the word. It is in Hosea 6 1. That uh, he who made you get the wounds, he can heal you the same It means he can even heal the wounded ones. He can heal the disease that we cannot see. The disease you don't know you by yourself. But because he knows you, he has the authority to heal you. Praise Jesus. Church, hallelujah. Church, hallelujah. Let me tell you, Jesus heals. Jesus heals. He has the authority of healing. The first disease on the, from the flesh I just want to say of these uh, three parts that make up a, make a human being. Uh, the body, the soul, and the spirit, they all hear. Each part can hear. It what shows that a human being is alive for some time. Uh, Based on this uh, human body of ours, when you touch on the body, it hears, it feels. And see when, when you're scared of something, you feel something turning in your body, you feel the fear in you. Which means the body has the ability to feel something. It has ears. Uh, uh, doctors sometimes mostly, when your body is not uh, working sometimes they try to iron you for your body to refresh again the body hears then the body has ears to hear the body has wisdom the soul has wisdom too and the spirit hears in Ezekiel 37 we see it when the prophet Ezekiel God told him to prophesy for the bones that were dry. There is no any other thing that made the three things stood. It is the power of the word. The word can make a person who's been sick for a long time stand. The word makes you stand from a coma place where you cannot hear The word takes you from a place where a person said you shall not go away from such place. Just because the word is great and it has because the word heals. The word heals and kills. Amen. Amen. When a person tells you a bad word, a worst word, you can get sick of because of that. And no matter what happens, that what has a, an effect on the other three parts I've been telling you. It has an effect or power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But a good word again. It even has a good effect so it can resurrect again your whole life. Praise Jesus. That is why we have hope. Praise God. Second Chronicles 32 from 7 to 9. Jesus told priest Ezekiah they fear the king of Asher. They fear them because of the words or the fear things they could bring to them. They could tell them what bad words of discouragement. Uh, strong words that are hurting. They could take away their hope of God. 
twakore abami ibi nibi 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 mwebwe mufite izihe mbaraga zizatuma namwe namwe tutabakore ibyo tubashaka And they said we did this and this to the other kings and which kind of power do you have so we cannot do the same thing to you too so we can do what you want to do for you Barangije imana imana ibahumuriza mu ijambo God consoled them in a word Irabwira ngo ntimutinye abicu mubiri nubwo abicu abicu mubiri And he said do not fear those who kill the body ngahubwa mutinye wicu mubiri nubugingo Rather kill those who kill or fear those who kill the body and the soul What does that mean Iyo amenye Kristo ntabwo tinye ibyuyumubiri When if none Christ you no longer fear the things of this body of this flesh Because what Christ cares more it is the soul more than the body Imani habwe cyubahiro Praise God He consoled them or comforted them in that word. And he said, be strong. The three parts I've been telling you, this body, it feels pain. And it hears. And even the heart feels pain. And uh, the spirits that All those when you, we go in through them it is the word we have read that the human uh, the heart of a human being it does not believe or hope for healing when something comes the heart raises the brain And am I going to get healed of this disease? Can I be healed of this disease? But something that strengthens us and enables us so we can be healed of all our disease It is not uh, the experience of certain wisdom you have. It is for you to have your king in your heart. Stand in his word. Just because you believe through the word. Praise God. There's something where it can have a, a negative effect upon you. And that can affect the spirit and the soul as well. It is uh, this uh, word in Psalms 103 verse 3. It is sin. Sin. And such sin, it is mostly done into the body, in your flesh. When that sin is done in the body, sometimes it can be done by the tongue. The tongue. It is why uh, in this situation those who deny the genocide or make it something simple such person uh, there is no difference between them and the one who killed because they are using the power from the tongue. The tongue it kills. The tongue it can destroy. The tongue is uh, the worst Organ. They can make a person go back from the place they have been. It is a great power that neutralizes your body and the spirit. Sometimes you lose hope. That is why mostly our body, this body of ours, we should command it as believers. Know what you say. Know what you're saying. Let me tell you, church, uh, the worst thing It is controlling the tongue. 
kukubera umugisha cyangwa kukubera umuvumo it can the tongue can be a curse or a blessing to you bitewe n'uko rukoresheje based on how you use it iyo rukoresheje neza rukubera umugisha when you use it diligently it becomes a blessing to you iyo rukoresheje nabi rukubera umuvumo when you use it worst it is a curse niyo mpamvu umuhanga that is why a wise person buri kintu cyose aragitoza they 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 train everything niba twaramenye yesu umwami n'umukiza wacu if you have known Christ as our king and savior we should learn how to command our bodies command the words you say because sometimes your words your own words is your curse just as it can be a blessing and the thing the worshipers have been singing that let us struggle to do the good let us read this word in Matthew 12 36 verse 36 Amen Matthew chapter 12 verse Matthew 12 Matthew 12 but I said to you that for every idle word men may speak they will give account of it in the day of judgment. Every idle word men speak every idle rumor word a word that does not build your brethren. A word that destroys your brother. A word that talks bad of your brother. A word that is uh, speaking bad about a person. A word that is speaking bad of your neighbor. On the day of judgment, you shall give account to it. And let me tell you, church. The Bible says what you do is what you're going to harvest. If you do good, you shall harvest what you did. People should not lie you. You cannot harvest where you did not plant. That is impossible. It is impossible. You cannot go to uh, uh, Damien's farm and then hope to harvest from there yet you didn't plant. There you're called a robber or a thief because you went to a farm which is not yours. It means what you do, you shall get it in return. You don't need to wait for the day of judgment. You shall see that when you are still in the world. Everything you do, you get it in return. The problem is sometimes you throw a stone when it comes back to you. And you'll be like, they've been speaking of me, it is this and this. And truly a place where you've been speaking from. Destroying your neighbor or destroying the ministry of God. Or having other bad things that you're doing. No matter what happened, your actions comes back to you. Uh, what you do is more powerful than the one you did it for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us give God glory. What does this mean? 
If this word says kandi ndababwira yuko ijambo yimfabusa yose But I say to you that for every idle word abantu bavuga men may speak bazari bazwa ku munsi wa mateka They will give account of it in the day of judgment Bishatse kuvuga iki What does it mean Nuburu munyabinyoma If you are liar ukaba munyabinyoma mukanwa kawuza Now it was like bya binyoma bizakugaruka The same lies shall come back to you again Kana rona ku munsi wa mateka bikubera urubanza And on the day of judgment it shall judge you Ubibonera mwisi ukiri mwisi nta ukaye Kana rona none wa munsi kaza because as imbere ngicapa Uh, you see it in the word and then on the other day it comes to you before you as a post. No, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, 37 it says for by your words you will be justified. And by your words you will be condemned. Now we say amagambo yawe niyo for by your words you'll be justified amagambo mbega y'ubwenge uvuga ubwira ubaka abandi the words of wisdom you say building renewing others ni azagira gute azakubaka mu bandi they'll be justified for you to others kandi dokunta amagambo amagambo y'Imana gutsindishiriza and listen to how God's word justify you ikintu wakoze kiza ntabwo ari wivuga every good thing you did you not the one who speaks of yourself aho ushobora kujya hano kwera imirimo wakoze ikavuga ukavuga udahari you get to a place because because of your actions your actions speak in your absence Uh, sometimes you don't even need to testify for or give a testimony for ourselves. It is worthy for you to be quiet and let others testify for you. And something that I like God for uh, truly, truly, the good thing you did is shown or revealed. And the worst thing you did, it is also revealed. Listen to how the bad thing is revealed. In uh, the 2008, one year was remaining for me to get married. But that time I was praying hardly. You understand? I had a great things to pray for. No, no. Haza kuzuma mama ratu se ahanu munara. And there came a mother from the province. Aza afite ikibazo gikomeye amaze imyaka umunani yarabuze urubyaro She came with a great problem she spent she that was eight years no. when she was barren Atangiye kunyera imbere When she got before me Arambira ati mfite ikibazo nabuze urubyaro She said I have a problem I'm barren Maze imyaka umunani It's been eight years Ndaba ngo ni ikihe kibazo And I said what is the problem behind Arambira ngo nange ntago mbizi She said I also do not know Ati narashatse tini bari ibikomere nagize byo muri genocide And I got married I don't know if it is the wounds from the genocide Ibyo byakubuza gutwita That can that hinder you from getting pregnant Ati bambiye kusengera abantu kandi Imana igakora And uh, she said I had you pray for people and God worked I said let us pray and hear what God is speaking. As I pray the 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 prayer could not go beyond the roof. I said I'm unpeaceful. That even how when she's praying she hears the word and she feels scared. She said that I'm going to tell you a great thing in my heart. And that it is the first time that I'm going to speak it out. I found no one to tell. Because I was telling her that there is something that you did that made God angry. Arambira ngo nakuye minda She said I uh, removed the pregnancy Because of the the world being ushobozi buke nari mfite because of the world being i was the i could not see anyone all my people were gone nabasha kurera umwana i could not uh, raise the child ati nkura mwiyonda kandi yari gize umezi nkanga hinkane and it was like four months and i removed the pregnancy four to five months ati cyo gihe uwo mwana yahora ari igihe cyose akaza karira 
And daily I hear to that voice crying to me. But let me tell you, church. I cried. But our God is merciful. Our God forgives. Oh, mercy is one and forgiving is the second. In forgiveness there is power. In forgiveness there is authority. And in also giving uh, forgiving others it's also another power. Sometimes there are things you put before us and it hinders us to be blessed. But after confessing it is what the word says in Isaiah 1 verse 16 that even though sins can be as red as, as blood if we confess confess and repent in our heart and destroy our sins God will forgive all our iniquities and even though it can be as red as blood it shall be as white as snow when a person repents with a whole heart you go closer to a person you did wrong to truly I was I wronged you and I did rumors to you and I went to as for your sake I spoke to you when it wasn't necessary or I judged or condemned you I fornicated forgive me Yes, Jesus forgives. The word said, He is the one who forgives all our iniquities <laughs> and heals all our diseases. It means there is also a kind of disease. A stepping and you go to the person you did wrong to. Pastor Teresa, Pastor Teresa forgive me. Forgive me for the sins I did for you. I did this and this and this. That opens the doors of blessing, even though you do not even don't need to pray. Sometimes you take seven days of prayer, yet there is a wall before you. That some, that some things you don't pray for, rather we go and then decide to a person and say, Forgive me. Even even though they can't forgive you but in your heart you have, the, you have that burden no more Jackie stays her with her, her, with her God and when she's a good person too for me when I ask for forgiveness I'm healed already that this is away from me when they, when they don't do that they are the ones who still feel the burden and they are burdened in a different way the burden the spirit the body and the soul because God starts seeing them as uh, guilty. You're the one who is uh, have a judgment between you and God. If God forgave you all your sins, and He forgave you with no cost and he took your sins to him he took his sins and washed you and why can't he forgive your brethren why can't he console your brethren praise God
ngo mutima w'umuntu that the heart of a human ngufite indwara nyinshi has a lot of disease ngo ntabwo wizeye gukira and it has no hope of healing gukira ku mutima w'umuntu the healing of a human heart no gufata ikemezo it is deciding ukishaka mu butsinzi muri wowe find victory in you and why there is something which does not uh, build you or make you grow why do you keep it in your heart firstly it disconnects you with God secondly it, you spend sleepless nights praise God uh, the reason why we see our nation grown and developed and the tribes uh, they intermarry it is a good leadership it is good leadership that looks upon the leader looks upon the leader they stand in a good position they say things good should go this way they forgive we have a, a parent who forgives. Who forgives? That is what God requires. It is what God requires from us. The, uh, the leader of our nation forgives. People do crimes, but when he sees, he forgives them. And a place of punishing, he punishes too. That is good leadership. Let us give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because there are two things that heals. Forgiving heals a person. And punishing heals a person. When a person forgives you, yet you know they have authority over you of doing something against you that is power it is authority it is authority when you think and you want to be healed if a person who had authority uh, has forgiven me yet they had something they can do against me and why can't I step and say like truly second punishing heals when a person punishes you in a mistake you've done and we are all parents you know that when you take a child and you say this mistake and you punish them sometimes even punish them before their siblings sometimes it gives out a good image to others they cannot do the same mistake as well sometimes God punishes us God punches a child so others can look upon that all those makes us uh, get healed of the heart diseases and we are healed we are renewed alive again so we can have hope again after knowing all those we believe that all God is beyond all above all. I want to tell you, Church of God, season that the word go through, bit of different diseases or changes of different times. It is not only in this century we are in, even before ages it was there. It happened. But what does God require from us? As believers, it is for us to have hope. Know that our God is of hope. Even though we have gone the hardship, even though we've gone through hard things, even though we've gone through different uh, troubles and battles, even though we've been wounded by brethren, even though we've been wounded by friends, 
Even though our neighbors did rumors to us. God above all those. Yes, God is beyond all those. Go closer to your neighbor. Just be like Joseph. Joseph was a spoke rumors to by his brethren, brothers. He was sold. They wanted to kill him too. But he said, it is not you. Uh, when God had restored him again after God fulfilling the promises he said upon his life he said it is not you it is God who allowed it to happen it is God that allowed it to happen for me to be the first in Egypt so I can be a blessing to you uh, John 327 it is a great word. It says there is nothing that a human being can give but themselves. Not from heaven. There is nothing a person can do or harm you. When the heaven accepts it, everything has authority over you. And when the heaven denies it, you can be like this word which says, You shall go through what I shall not go with you. You shall go through what and go away safely. You shall go through the fire, but you won't be born. What does it mean? We shall go through all those, but after going through them, we shall be like gold in an industry. Then go from that life when you have life of purpose, when you have life of renewing ourselves, when you have life that wants to go where we want to go, when you have life of I'm not going to stay in this time of sorrow, when you have life of I'm going to renew and rebuild myself, when you have life of I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a woman. What my father do, I'm going to do them. What my mother want to, I'm going to do them. Hope of people who have God. It is hope of those who have God. When you have such hope, we go through water. Even, however much it is, it goes back between you. And then you got the next uh, place. Go to the next place. Go to the next place. When people say, no, we shall not make it to the next place. But you go. When they say it is impossible. But you go. When they say you cannot have children. Or you have a child. People say you cannot build. Then you get more rest. People say shall stay at the same place. And then tomorrow God takes you to the next place. I want to tell you. There's nothing that human being can do by themselves. Apart from God approval. Rather sometimes. When you go through that situation, I know how you stand in it. You don't abuse your God. You don't uh, have that God in you. All that comes before your power, for your greatness. That shows a person is going to be great. And it shows that when you go away from such seasons or times, go to times of famine, when a person comes to your gate, knocking to your gate, you say there is one morning where my child spend without eating. There is one morning where we spend without food. When a person comes, you console them. 
said, I know how it feels to be hungry. And let me tell you, people give what they have. Truly, people give out what they have. When you see a person speaking of a lot of words, they are giving out what they have. Do not blame them. Then that is how they are. That is who they are. But we have hope that every disease is healed. When you allow that, a disease is healed. A disease, a disease gets healed. Uh, uh, but when you don't allow it, it becomes like a background. Sometimes you say you're going to destroy the background. But when you don't see uh, diligently, it falls follows even after generation because it did not destroy that. It becomes a root in your, in your, your generation. But if you have known God, that's something you should get separated from. That's something you should destroy. That's something you should take away. That's something you should destroy. Because our God is beyond all. God is beyond that is why we should stand firmly in a better position and be a blessing to us more than we can be a cause to them. If you've, not, if you've gone through a desert of different things, it is a teaching you went by so you can use it to help others. If you're a man and you've gone through being single and you went away from it, peacefully you can talk to other men and tell them I passed through this but I, I went to another place. Family. If your mother who, when a person comes to your home, help them if you're in that situation before. And if you help them, don't say that like, I'm the one who makes them live. You can even help and say they lived by me. Truly, no one lives by you. It is times that God put for you. Because a human being can do nothing without God's approval. Rather, they are being a vessel of God. And what I like God for, when I was a man, sometimes it could have bring a person to my life and after sometimes he was like this person is going to show off or be proud and then God takes them and then brings another one uh, when one well is dry God brings another well that is why you should have hope and stare to God instead of staring to people because when you're looking at a human being they can make you sin a human being can be like I'm the one who made you who you are sometimes instead of praying to God you pray to a human being it is a good for you to receive Respect them and know what God uh, did through them. But on them, don't make them an idol or God before you. That is where God, God relies. When you have taken all those, the diseases get healed. Uh, that is something who has healed all kinds of diseases in the body and the spirit. And their hope is upon God. Church of God. Friends of the cross. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, no Jesus is a victorious. Yes, no Jesus is of authority. Yes, no Jesus is the king. Yes, Jesus is righteous. I wish you to be victorious. I wish you to be a powerful. 
I wish you to be of a great zeal. I wish you to strengthen others. When you strengthen others, even the, you shall also be strengthened. I wish you to heal others instead of you causing them wounds. I'm re uh, desiring that from you. I request peace and happiness in your life. I wish all those receive them. I wish all those. I wish you peace in your heart. I request kindness. I wish wealth in the spirit and in the flesh. So God can tell you his information and tells you what to do at the right time. At this time, child of church of God, be strong. Be strong. Be strong. And go strengthen others. Where you live in your neighborhood, where you work at your workplace, give them hope. You console them. When a person comes to you, tell them good words of God. Don't tell them rumors. So, don't tell them idle words. You are you're hurting them. Tell them what? Separate from sin. Separate yourself from something like sin. Separate from something which does not build you. Uh, back it. Look it in the back. Stay, keep going. Hebrews 2.18 he said for he suffered the pain he was tempted he was, uh, he was tempted he's our example to us he was abused he was a uh, Roomed. He was tortured. But for he was tempted and for the pain, he is able to help all those who are tempted. Charge us stand on our feet. Let us pray this prayer. Jesus is alive and Jesus is, alive and Jesus is, alive. Jesus is the king. Let us pray. Let us pray. Oh God, I thank you for your word. The word you gave us, your word is life. Your word is the medicine. Your word is hope. Your word renews us. Your word strengthens us. On this day to heaven, I pray for these hearts and I praise you. Because that is where those souls are going. Give them power. The power, the inner power. The wisdom. The power to know the truth. Just because your word has told me. That we know the truth. So set us free. And your word tells me again. That your people. The kind of ignorance. Give them wisdom. Give them to know the truth. Give them to separate God's word and people's feelings. Let them spread God's feelings and their feelings. Let them be led by you so they can walk with you. Let them love you. Just as you love them. I bless them. I require peace. I require power. I require anointing for them. Come and heal them. Come and do them good. This week I pray for seven days. I pray for your church. Bring come on your church. The spirit, the spiritual power. The power of the truth. The power of your word. The power of being free. And 